Hey guys, Retro Reviews here again with another video review, and this time I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise Rapid Run figure. Uh, Rapid Run transforms into a, a, 700, steer, a 700 series Hikari Railstar bullet train. Um, and just like uh, Rail Spike, he does roll pretty well. Now, for some reason, the uh, hinge here is a little weak on mine right now, so he's kind of buckling under the weight. But that's all right. Um, yeah, he does have tamper graph here. Here it says Rail Star Cybertron on both sides, as well as big old Autobot symbol on the on the top, which is pretty nice. Um, Yeah, not much really to say in bullet train mode. Again, he rolls really well. Um, just like Rail Spike, uh, he does have the hitch here to connect with the other two. Um, but we'll take a look at that when we take a look at all three of them together. So, here after we take a look at all three of them individually. So, size comparison. Uh, here he is compared next to the uh, deluxe sideburn figure again um, which in between rail spike and rapid runs video I kind of found out a little bit of the reasoning why uh, with the size class um, Takara constructed this with a much more flexible price point so he was actually not the same price as the other mega class figures in the line. The Team Bullet Train were actually an intermediate price point between the Deluxe and the mega class that we got here. So, um, while they had to be released as mega class over in this side with the um, with the current price points at the time, I actually do feel like compared to some of the other mega class figures that these guys were a little bit more um, cheaper compared to the others but same price so that was a little bit of a bum deal but yeah there he is next to uh, sideburn go ahead and bring an iron hide here for modern day vehicle comparison um, and also prowl as well so now I think um, out of the three bullet trains uh, rapid run here has the most intricate transformation uh, so we'll go ahead and f uh, remove the weapon stuff first so we'll take this panel here and completely remove that and then go ahead and get this into weapon mode. We'll fold these uh, panels up. And then fold this handle down. And then come in between the legs here. Take this piece out. And this piece will become the missile. So that will just go ahead and lock in like that. And then it does fire off really well still. So, go ahead and set that off to the side for now. So now I have this of the part of the figure. So we're going to go ahead and extend. There it goes. It was jammed. So yeah, go ahead and extend these, uh, extend the legs out, and then extend these pieces out. Which will then rotate up the feet and rotate down the heel spur. Then go ahead and rotate the waist around. Then take these panels and fold them out. And rotate them down. Take those parts for the hands. And then take this section here and fold that down. And then fold the nose of the train down. And we're going to need to move up a little bit. So 
then after we get the nose of the train down, go ahead and fold the head up and then close the nose back up. And then this leg doesn't want to stay fully deployed. So there we have a rapid run in his robot mode. And go ahead and get a close up on that head sculpt. There we go. Really cool head sculpt. Again, go, still going with the um, bullet train theme. Uh, we do have a little bit of like the windscreen design here. It's not the same bullet train that um, he's modeled after, but it still does have that theme going on. Uh, not much other details to speak of, really. We do have some more um, like mechanical greebling on the sides, on the insides of his legs. Um, basically, every all the in all the panels from his vehicle mode. Uh, that are now exposed, like the back ends are exposed. We do have a little bit more um, detail work to work with. Now, again, just like uh, Rail Spike, um, there was two v versions of these released. Uh, we had one with the windows painted and one without the windows painted here in Hasbro markets. Uh, Takara markets, um, the bullet trains were released with clear plastic to have the windows clear on them. Which would have meant that these panels and these, pan these halves of the leg, as well as the whole front nose section here and this body piece here were all clear plastic painted over. So I think out of the three he would have like the most clear plastic if he got the Japanese version which um, as of lately has been a little bit of a contention point for some people with uh, especially some older figures because the clear plastic can barely hold or cannot hold load bearing wait for an extended period of time and some fi people's clear plastic figures just kind of crumble after a few years for a few months even so uh, there's that thing to be kind of worried about if you're looking to get the Japanese release of this figure now for articulation for this figure, he is a little bit better than uh, Rail Spike was. Uh, we do have a little bit of uh, rotation in the neck. It's on a swivel, but it's very... Or is it on a ball joint? That, my friends, is a ball joint. So it's on a ball joint, so it does have enough... There we go. If you mess with it a little bit, you can get it to go... But... It is a little bit of a restricted ball joint, so a little bit of some movement in there, but not much. Um, shoulders are on ball joints as well, so we do have full range, really good range of movement there. Uh, we do have uh, waist rotation. We do have hips. Ball jointed hips that can uh, split out that far and uh, kick back that far and forward that far. And then knees, almost a 90 degree bend, and then nothing out of the feet. So, Rapid Run does have a lot more posability than Rail Spike does. And uh, going back to the weapon here, um, it's a shield, also a missile launcher. Um, you can plug it in like this, so you can use it as a gun. I usually like to keep it held as a shield and off to the side, kind of like a buckler shield. I just think that looks better that way. And for size comparison here, go ahead and uh, bring sideburn back. So, again, about the same size as rail spike, um, about it 
couple heads taller than the deluxe class car brothers. Bringing in uh, Siege Prowl here. Again, about. Well, Prowl is about the same size as Sideburn. And um, also go ahead and bring the uh, Siege Optimus in. So. Yeah, that's. Uh, again, about the same size. Um, so. Honestly speaking, out of the three, I'm going to say I like uh, Rapid Run the most. Um, but, like I've said before in Rail Spikes video, I can only really recommend picking up any of the three bullet trains uh, if you intend on getting all three of them. So, that being said... He's a pretty decent figure on his own, but it definitely, just like Real Spike and just like Midnight Express, which we'll be taking a look at next, um, definitely shines a lot better once you get the other two in, and we'll take a look at that as well. So, um, again, I do recommend this figure, but only if you intend on picking up the other two, or if you already have the other two and you're looking to complete it so anyways this has been ratchet reviews i hope you guys like this video review and i will see you next time